Then we're going to talk a little bit about my kitchen remodel and more specifically the tile that we chose as part of the remodel. For my kitchen design, I wanted it to look modern but also classic, so something that I'm not going to be sick of five, ten years from now. These remodels cost a lot of money, so if you're going to do it, you better make sure you're going to still like it five or ten years from now. For me, that meant not choosing a trendy backsplash in the kitchen but sticking with something classic and traditional, like a marble tile. I did not, however, want the standard mosaic that you see or the standard three by six subway tile. Instead, I found these beautiful three by 12 honed marble tiles at Floor and Decor, and I instantly fell in love. I knew they were gonna be the perfect tile for the kitchen. One simple way to really elevate the look of your tile is to take it all the way to the ceiling, which you can see we did in this kitchen. Instead of stopping directly under your countertops, take it all the way around the window, right up to the ceiling. It looks so high-end, it looks so designer, and for the little bit of extra tile that you need, it's well worth it. A lot of people ask me about how to choose the correct grout color for a marble tile. The good thing with marble tile is you actually have some options. So if you think about how the marble itself looks, it inherently has different colors in it. Depending on the marble that you have, it might have like a white, a slightly off-white, it's gonna have a light gray, a dark gray, and then sometimes there's even a warmer kind of beigey tone going through it. In my opinion, the best colors to pair for grout are going to be the colors that are in the tile. So you can go with that slightly warmer white, you can go with a medium gray grout, or you can even go with a darker gray grout. A lot of people prefer the medium gray. It helps eliminate some of the grout lines, kind of give a more seamless appearance. Personally, I like the look of lighter grout. So I chose Mappé's white color for our grout. It kind of creates a picture frame look on the tile, similar to when you see subway tile with darker grout, but it's the reverse. And it helps lighten the overall effect of the tile too. Another color that's very popular is warm gray, also in the Mappé brand available at Floor & Decor. In addition to our kitchen, we also remodeled our mud room, which is directly off our kitchen. We replaced the floor in there and we added a small little backsplash. If you are ready to shop for tile, for a bathroom, a kitchen, a mudroom, whatever, Floor & Decor is your one-stop shop. Let me tell you, it has everything. You're not gonna be disappointed. Plus, trust me when I say this because I shopped around for the Hone Marble Tile, their prices cannot be beat either. So let's take a quick look at my laundry room and I will show you the floor and backsplash that we chose for there. So this is the tile floor that we chose for our mudroom slash laundry room. It's one of those combo rooms that kind of serves multiple purposes. I have everything linked below in the description. The funny thing about this, everyone says, oh, Jenna, you're very brave choosing white grout. This is actually a medium gray grout. Let me show you. This is the same grout color that we have on the backsplash. But because on the backsplash it's paired with a white tile, you can actually see the gray. Because the floor is so much darker, it looks closer to a white. Isn't that so crazy? I did get my fix for a more modern tile here in our laundry space. We only had a little bit of space to play with because our washer and dryer are here. But let me back this up here, you guys can see. Um, I'm happy that I did it. I won't get sick of it in here. It's still a pretty traditional design, but I do love how that turned out. So that's it. I hope you learned something new today. I also have a whole blog post talking about choosing the perfect tile backsplash for your kitchen. I have that linked below in the description. Hopefully you'll find something that helps you as you go about renovating your home. If you have any questions at all, drop me a comment 
and I would be happy to help you.